Bill Larson, ex officio. Okay, we do have a quorum. Um, I think he's wrong. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, we'll uh, review the meeting minutes for the last meeting. Mary, when we, um, we did, we're doing this for a while there, but it's kind of fell by the wayside. Like on line 61, where, I like the way you do that, where you, you were, um, the motion is made and seconded, and then it goes to the public hearing, the public hearing is closed, and then you list the vote the way it is, but could you just put <laughs> vote in bold letters above that so that it stands out a bit more so when you're reviewing uh, minutes, it, it's a little bit easier to find the votes. I think you had it in one or two places. Yes, thank you. Kind of make that a standard procedure if we can do that.
72. It's just a typo. I, the mountain got, I think, oh, it, is that an A or an O? My, my, my eyes are, it is an A. Okay, then it's fine.
Justin Bell? Yeah. Several years on the same topic. Time. No. I have a no. motion to accept. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes as uh, amended. Have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Meetings are accepted. Um, hello, Harry. Public hearing is scheduled for today, so we'll move on to new business. <coughs> Conceptual consultation for lot line adjustment for lot 104 18 49 Snows Mountain Road. Yep, that's me. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Eric Pospisell, and I work for Horizons Engineering. And I am here to represent uh, Rick and Ellen Kiley. And what um, they have had a uh, couple lots, those two lots, 18 and 19 on Snows Mountain Road. They've been in the family for a number of years. And what they're proposing to do is a lot line adjustment. At one point, um, the family had a shared driveway and um, there was a, a, are you folks familiar with the house or the Kylie's, the McGoldrick family? Okay. Um, so I've only been working with Rick and Ellen and, um, there's, you know, the, the, the house that was the parents, um, they're no longer available to be in the house. The, the father passed away. Mom, I think, is, you know, um, elderly as well. They want to uh, separate the driveway, do a lot line adjustment uh, to, to improve the lot configuration based on the construction that was done on the property and then um, sell the property. So which which one is the one? So let me show you. I just want to give you that little. I'll give you the whole deal. So I, I brought two sets of plans, and one's a conceptual plan. What we're going to do, but I also brought a site plan that the Kylie's asked us to do because um, they've been working with Dana White uh, to um, do some of the construction improvements on the property. So this will probably help you get a better understanding, and I can explain what's happening there. Um, so again, you can see that there's, here's a couple more here, I got a oh, for everybody. Oh yeah, uh, plenty, plenty of paper. <laughs> um, actually, this is, that's all I brought of the site plan. All right, that's fine. So the, the driveways were connected. There, there was actually one driveway here, um, and a family, the, uh, you know, the family houses um, and a deck and pavement were connected so that there was, you know, interconnectivity between the buildings. Um, something that the McGoldricks, did when they built the, the build the structure. Um, since then, the goal is um, to uh, separate the driveways, remove, if you look at, there's hatched pavement there. That, that hatched pavement, that's all stuff that's being demolished. Some of it's already actually been done. So this large deck that you see is already removed. Um, I actually brought a photo because at the time, See, that's, that's, the, that's the building now. Mm -hmm. So that's this side of the house. It's gone. That deck's been taken off of there. Just so you know. See, this deck right here, that was, that's this right here. It's gone. So obviously the deck is within the building setback. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, even a portion of the home. Tiny, tiny corner of the house. Um, and it's pretty, that, we're talking like inches right there. That that, that tiny corner of the house encroaches in the setback. Now that setback line is the current setback per the um, configuration. Excuse me, is this two lots now? Or is yeah, it it's two lots. Is it 18 and 19? Because it shows 18 and 18. Uh, yeah, here, that's a, that's a, that's the site plan. Here's the, yeah. so let me show you, this is, this is a concept plan that I'd like to present to you next month. And, yeah. And yeah, this this so this is the that's that's what it's gonna look like. That's what we like. 
close. Did you? I think I got. I don't have green yet. So, so the first is is this this drawing is is an as is. This, these are the so. lot yeah. lines today. Um, no, let me share with you. I thought I had. First, first off, th where this is about 18, is that supposed to be 19? Yes, okay. that's a typo on the site plan. Okay. This is a conceptual plan. <coughs> so, um, yeah, I, obviously this, this plan that I'm going to present later, it is, you know, it's still a work in progress. Like I said, it's a concept. I'm not for sure I had a couple more of those. Um, this dashed line is the existing gotcha. property line. So. If you don't mind, let me just share this with you. This is this um, this dash line is the existing <coughs> property line. Okay, and the existing property line, which is over here, it would be like right through here. See this pin right here, mm -hmm. and this and, uh, and this pin right here. This concrete post, it goes kind of like that. That's the existing property line today. Okay. <coughs> So, um, that, so that existing so, so property so line know, runs right up the middle of the driveway. So today, these are two lots, correct, owned by the same person. They um, or the, the same family. The same family, yeah. correct. Okay, right. gotcha. All right. So Goldrick, Kylie. Right. Okay. Goldrick, Kylie. Yeah. Goldrick, Kylie. Yeah. So again. <laughs> um, so, like I said, the property line runs right up the middle of the paved driveway. The site plan shows that the pavement is going to be cut. That's, this is all pavement that's being removed. Right now, that driveway is about 18 feet wide. It's much wider than it needs to be. They're going to cut that down to 14 feet, take four feet off the edge of this pavement, remove all this, like I just showed you in the photograph. All this is going away. This is going to be the new entrance for this house lot. This is the new entrance for that house lot. And the lot line is going to move so that there's no pavement encroachment. You see, th this line actually shows what the pavement's going to look like after we're done. See right now, the line goes up this driveway. They, we're going to swing it out over here and then just bend it back so that we clear the driveway of pavement. You see, there's no pavement. There's no encroachments. And um, yeah, the lots will be separated. So the, the, uh, the reason you're not shifting the line so that the setback is correct is because of the paved driveway, is that right? Yeah, there's no, I mean, that's all the room. We There's no way that you can do that. And if, if we try to move, with, you're talking about with this deck? Well, this, this line exists now with the improper setback, the way it is. But yes. Be, but because you're moving this line, the question is, do you now have to get the right setback? And I'm wondering... What would be the reason you couldn't? Because you've got some room here. That yeah, there's no. Be. Yeah, the access to that house wouldn't happen. You'd still see. The idea is to, in, to is to remove the encroachment of uh, the property line being on on the asphalt. On the asphalt. And there's no. There's as it is. We're reducing the size of the driveway. So we reduced the size of the driveway to a reasonable 14 feet. Um, that's not that wide. You know, that just gives you an angle. Uh, yeah, it's 14 feet all the way through. It's 14 foot wide all the way through. Um, Except for the light, is that what you have? <coughs> right in here, is that correct? Yeah, over in there, yeah. But that's, there's a garage right there. You've got to be able to pull into the garage. There's a two car garage right here. <coughs> and, and the reason it's configured the way it is, is this, this lot gets plowed and pushed back into here. This is a two-car garage. Mm -hmm. They've got to be able to get in, back out, head out. That's been the configuration all along. Mm -hmm. um, which, which way is the, they back out this way, you say? Yeah, they pull in this, so yeah, right. they come in here, and then they oh, back yeah. around like this. Right. See this little extra? Yeah. They back it's around and then go they, out. They both came in this way. Now, yeah. when uh, I assume that the lot sizes stay exactly the same. Exactly the same. Right. So, so that's, a, that's an important one. Yeah. Right. That's so they stay exactly the same as they were in the past. Correct. That's exactly right. I don't. Uh, what is this? What is the zoning here? Oh. It's LDR. LDR. Yeah. LDR. That's so right. Mountain Road. 
we had a, basically the lots to the right, and I'm asking a question, appears to be have been a non-conforming lot. Apparently. Point four six acres that way forever. So it yeah, basically stays that way. So, yeah. So here's here's what I brought to just to right. show you. This lot right here, this is the original subdivision plan of this property. It's uh 1974, 73. Yeah. So that lot was created in 1973. Right. And if you look, it says 0 0.05 acres. <laughs> 0.50 <laughs> acres. So they did, plus, it, they did the calculation wrong. Plus, <laughs> well, plus or minus. It. No, yeah. oh, it's plus, plus or minus. minus. <laughs> they did so, that on all those lots. Right. They, yeah. that's so right. it's a half an acre plus or minus. So I mean, it's sorry, roughly a half an acre. And, and yeah. we thought okay. when, when the subdivision was done, all the tax maps were hand drawn. And if you look at the old tax maps before we computerized it, it showed the the houses on the proper lot in the proper locations but when we did the when we actually went to the deed and did the computerized lots that's when we found right the, houses the over lines and right. too yeah. close to setbacks and things like that so yeah if you look at your tax map over there on the wall it actually shows those buildings where they are and under the current configuration prior to the deck being right. removed and that deck was significantly over the over the pump. Now, the so dotted, that deck has been removed. The, the dotted line that's showing here is the, the setback. setback envelope mm -hmm. is based on the new the proposed new lot line. Correct. Okay. Correct. Got it. So that's what we're showing you is that that is still there's at, at this, this so this is this is what it would look like without with the deck the original deck there. That's how it looks. It looked until a couple weeks ago when they removed that deck. But the, but but is it fair to say I'm lo roughly looking at this? The corner of the building as it now exists didn't conform to the old set. Even correct. If you went to the correct the, the old lot lines, it, it, it basically was it. in violation it just, of the set. It just nicked it. <coughs> it just nicked it. Yeah. Right. It just nicked it. If you okay. look at this original lot line, it was actually, you don't see this very often, but that lot line that divides them right here is a curve. Why there was ever a curve there, unless, <coughs> all I, 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 historically they're probably, it followed the, an existing driveway, because there was other buildings there at one time. So that, if you notice, see this, in, this map right here? That's a curve. So the, the original lot line divided into two lots, was a curve. As a builder, I don't know any builders that can lay out a house up against the property line and whenever they built the houses there and know exactly where a point is along a curve. I mean, I've got the technology with my electronic equipment, but um, I would be really scratching my head and banging away at a calculator to try and figure that one out. So that's why I think you see that the building corner is really close, but no cigar. Just nix it. So it's a little tiny bit over. I just uh, I, I and the deck has been removed. Correct. I have yeah. I got a photograph that, that deck. That, that deck that's showing here that's oh, considerably over. Yeah. Because it's All right. Let me show you. But you but that's gone anyway. No. It's not no. Oh. All right. Um. Actually, you have it under here. Sorry. Yeah. So the yeah. I'll bring more plans next time. The um. Oh, that's there's the, that's the old. The, that's the old deck. That's the section that's gone. Oh. That's the section that's gone. You see, they had a, and this huge deck and this paved walkway that connected the houses. Right. That was all within that setback and encroaching, and that's what got removed, all this. So this is all gone. They tried to remove as much as possible, um, but, you know, to conform to this lot line right here and chop that deck to meet the setback would be... It, it would just not work. Um, they tried to do, you know, they tried to do the best that they could within what they had uh, to try and create a, conf a more conforming situation. But again, I think you know it looks good. Um, but I, as I said, and, and Mark, I'm assuming at the point in time that someone built this house, they submitted a, they they got a building permit, an application, or was this before we had building permits? Back in the late 70s we probably if they did get a permit we don't have it on file.
file in there. Right. So we, we don't need, we, we're not even sure if we were permitting it. Mm -hmm. right. 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 Okay. Gotcha. This one. Right. So this is this hatched area is all stuff that's being removed. Originally there was one driveway. Okay. Now they're going to separate this. This is all being saw cut and removed. This is this is going and this solid hatched area is a new driveway configuration. Mm -hmm. So um, so the, the, there's going to be two separate driveways here. Um, we've already submitted an application for a driveway permit and it's been approved. So um, the town road agents been up and accepted and looked at it and reviewed it and um, has approved it. So the stock shaded area at the end where the turnaround is is moved, is that correct? Correct. Right. And you'll see because like the, exactly he's talking about this area here. That's what they're proposing new because before they had a little bit extra pavement, they had more room to turn around. Um, because they could you could actually back in here a little bit more, you know, there's this because this is pavement that's gone. So <coughs> it, and it's narrower, so they needed a little more turning radius in place to get around. I understand the uh, the reason why they're doing this, but I'm just a little concerned about taking a non-conforming lot, altering that lot into another non-conforming lot. Well, I think the situation here is that they're trying to create the best case scenario that they can given what they what they've inherited. So they're trying to do the best they can. It, and we've looked closely at how to try and reconfigure the driveway based on the on the garage and there's a certain safety requirement and even just ability to turn around. I mean you still gotta get an oil truck in there and a you know, a delivery vehicles and a car and to turn around. So that's that's what we've tried to do, reduce as much pavement as possible while still create, you know, not totally eliminating access. Um, you know, this is the entrance to the house. And, you know, the porch is in, the, the main entrance to the house is right here and the garage. So, I mean, we're kind of really limited to what we can do here. So. I don't recall what the situation is with decks. Can decks go into a... Um, it, it's one of those murky areas because if it's attached to the building, then you question him is is it part of the building or not? I mean I, I, I you know it's it's another one of these gray areas. The the reality is whoever interpreted to me and look at this, whoever created this situation, these are two separate lots, have been forever. Right. I mean, there's nothing to restrict them from selling one of these lots today as it's configured, right? Well the lot was was approved, but uh House on the lot wouldn't have been approved because it's a resident, so there would be no reason to well, approve it. Isn't that by definition? <laughs> we it, it's well, built. We approved this. We gave an occupancy. occupancy. I mean, they they've got an occupancy. Well, I was just wondering. The only reason I'm saying that is because I don't know. It, 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 it wouldn't take too much movement of that line to get the house within the the limits, and and the only issue being the deck. Well, but again, then uh, as you yeah, that's right. And so, what are we going to, I mean, we're going to, the thing is, is that the more I move it this way, the more it encroaches on that. Well, I understand pavement. that, but I mean, it but the idea is that they, the foot or so, so. But, y y you know what, there's, there's, what we've tried to create there is, is a little bit more room. you got to have just a little room off the edge of somebody's pavement, mm -hmm. you know? I mean... You can't just, there's maintenance to do there. There's actually, you know, drainage swale to consider, you know, or drainage off the edge of the pavement. So to, um, to move that line any further over and to still make the turning radius, because you also have to consider that when we looked at this design, we have to figure out how a car can actually get turned around, turning radius. Right. And that is, so we use this template, an auto turn template that, based on a certain length of vehicle, it has to be able to back out and make a turn and go ahead in the other direction. And that is as small as we could make it. So we tightened it up as tight as we could. And um, you know that was, that was the best we could do from an engineering standpoint. I can see that being the case if that was a wall at the, the property line. But you know, perhaps it's a little bit of leeway there. Well, no, because you're saying, 
you're saying you got to move it this way though. Right. Right. So then the car. Well, so then the car. What we're saying is that the car, if, if you extend this pavement anymore, the car and the back wheels and the vehicle will be then. If you move it this way, you're going to be backing over on somebody's property. Mm -hmm. So you'll have to back the wheels off the pavement, into the grass, into the shoulder, over the somebody else's property line, and you still end up with the same. Basically, you're crossing. You know, you're on somebody else's land, turning your vehicle on, <coughs> on a regular basis. So that's why we configured it the way we did. This, um, the plan I'm looking at right here, it shows the setback lines, but it doesn't seem to show setback lines with respect to the proposed property lines. That no, it um, not on this one. Um, I just uh, I believe that again. That's the site plan. Um, that was a site plan that we put together. This site plan was for Dana and the contractor, so he could, he needed to get prices to contractors. It's not a requirement to have a, typically to have a site plan to review. I brought this along so that you could see what the what we were proposed, proposed to do. So yeah, that yeah, that this cleaner sheet here, um, which I'm in short supply of. Yeah. Go ahead. This is the one. Th this is this is this, the the start of my concept <coughs> plan. So if I'm presenting a lot line adjustment, I'll put some general notes and you know the locus map and so forth and the deed references. But this will not change. This is what we want. It, this is what their the end result is right here. And again, what we tried to do because they were we started out with non-conforming lot to begin with based on this plan of record. Those pins, the iron pins and the monuments I found matched to within inches of this 1973 plan. Mm -hmm. So the lot mathematically has always been that same size since those stone bounds and iron pins were set in the 70s. So it never made it to a full half an acre. Is what I'm saying. It was always 0.5 plus or minus right from day one. So what I did was I just balanced the area to create um, exactly that's the, the exact same square footage, right to the right to the foot. The exact all I did was took the exact same amount of property and balanced it so that I did nothing to change the area. It's exactly as it was originally deeded. Necessarily open the door to non-conforming lot later. Non-conforming in which way? The, the setback requirement. Well, um, okay. Well, I can't. I mean, we. I, I again. I, we're going to still be. We're going to. There's going to be an encroachment on the property, no matter what. You, if if you do that, you're going to have an encroachment. Where's I mean, you're going to have an. You're because of the turning radius coming correct. out of the garage. Because of the turning radius coming out of the garage. So, Terry, I'm reading this all, you know, relative to grandfather. And it, 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 again, it really doesn't say anything in terms of guidance. Uh, let me see if I can find the applicable like thing. The, the only thing I can come up with this is in the preamble. says, whenever any existing use or structure is not in conformity with the provisions of this ordinance, it may continue to exist subject to the provisions of Article 10 and 9. Now, there are no provisions in Article 9. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, it says it can continue to exist. Which is In other words, you got no guidance. 
Right. Exactly. Zero guidance. I don't think I don't, I don't have any problem with it existing because it's no been, problem. Well, yeah, there can't. Right. But now it's being changed. And now but it's not. The we same. don't have a statement in here like we do in some areas where we clearly state that if you change the structure of the building in any way, it now must conform. Uh, there's we don't have any statement like that. I guess the other the other point to make is that it is two separate lots. Yeah, and I mean we don't have to move the line at all. You can sell it the way it is and keep an encroachment, and there'll still be there'll still be a violation of the setback. They're, like I said, they're just trying to create a situation where there there's less encroachment than there currently exists. They're trying to improve the situation. They've removed the deck. They're trying to remove the pavement. They're trying to separate the two and create as clean a situation and as clean a break as they possibly can. And and I mean. I don't disagree that it improves the situation. Right. I just don't know what the. Yeah. And you really want to be confused? Let me read you in the next okay. sentence. Thank, Thank you. Bill. It says, <laughs> "No conforming use of structure shall become non-conforming, or any non-conforming. This is ours, right? Mm -hmm. Any non-conforming use of structure become further non-conforming by any manner or action whatsoever, except in accordance with the provisions of this ordinance, which there don't seem to be any." Or by any legal action of a uh, uh, of a jurisdiction setting aside the provision of this ordinance. Unfortunately, this this case. So this is, is non-conforming, non and we're making it further non-conforming. No, we're making it less non-conforming. Less non-conforming. A little less non-conforming. <laughs> uh, I I would interpret that to to kind of say you got to live with it. <laughs> Although, actually, to be honest with you. It does make it further non-conforming. Looking at this, T typically, if it if it's yeah. making it less non-conforming, you can approve it without it going to the zoning board. If it's going to make any, if it's going to make it less conforming in any way, then it would need to go to the zoning board for for a, um, a waiver of the dimension, equitable something like equitable waiver. Yeah, equitable, right. e equitable so waiver. But if but you don't need to do that if it's making it less non-conforming. It actually makes it slightly, slightly less non-conforming. Slightly work further non-conforming. No, well, very it depends, slightly. It depends on the definition. You see the deck. See, we have this other thing. Is the deck part of the building or not? Not well, the way building is defined in your ordinance, right? Now. That's right. So the deck does not count. N not the way it's not written way right it's now. Written. Good. A porch with a roof. Well, that's good. A yeah. porch with a roof, but not, but not an open but not deck. A deck. Right. That yeah. needs to be changed. Sorry. But yeah, I made a note of that while you were talking. <laughs> <laughs> but for our purposes right now. <laughs> for the purposes right now, the deck does not count. Right. If it's an it's open, it's uncovered deck. Right. Yeah. Plus or minus. <coughs> half. <coughs> That's so when I do the math calculations. Yes. 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 Sometimes you have to adjust them. If you enter all the math, create all the angles. That's what I did. I don't know. Might be a pity. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes that could be from this point to this point. And then another. Yeah. See that bar is from right here. So that defines this line. This is always over. This is always under construction. Uh, yeah, that's what he did. Right. He's, he's made it so that it hasn't changed. Yeah. Okay. Square foot is a Well, it's, it's probably close enough to that you can, you can say it doesn't make it more or less not it, it for me. It's generally close enough. it's in the direction of making yeah. the situation And if better. we tried to do something to, to make up for that, we'd be making the situation worse. There was yeah, no reason and to we'd be making it. odd lots yeah. or little bump out yeah. and some good stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that the attempt that they've made to uh, remove a substantial portion of that deck and the pavement um, certainly was yeah. a, a good attempt. Just So they would have to submit an application for a minor, yeah. lot, minor adjustment. Exactly. Yes. I I think we could probably live with that okay. adjustment. I mean, I, unless another board member has some comment on that, I don't see any sense in making you guys like difficult. That's great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so, from a scheduling standpoint. Um,
we would like to submit an application and be available next month to come back with the same set of plans. Mine, mine are all kind of to see if you know if I have Do you want to just cut the paper copies? Um, I'll, 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 I believe he does, yes. Yeah, I'm just going to say. But he's only got one of butter, right? Well, no, I guess he's got a guy behind him. I think for a minor law spring, we've just been in public areas I don't. I have no idea. I don't believe it is. I can't remember. No, um, I don't remember what your regulations say, but you would need to notify about ours anyway. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. And there is a clock then for. Yeah. So how do you have to get the application? How many? How far in advance? For other folks that want to take I think it's 21 days. And again, the key thing. is 21 clear days. Emphasize to everyone is that. So we're grounded. The application for a minor lot line adjustment. You'd have to get it 21 days prior to the next meeting. Correct. And yeah. then I heard that it doesn't require a public hearing, that we can pretty much just submit the application, notify the abutters. I gotta, and I'm going to notify the abutters, and sure. I, I'll look through the subdiv regs, but I don't think there's a requirement for a, for a minor lot line. This adjustment. could be approved at the next hearing. It could yes. be. Okay. But even if, but we, if we decide there needs to be a public hearing, we'll post it, right? Yeah, we'll post it. Yeah, right. okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, so 21 days, uh, calendar days or working days? Uh, I think it says clear days. So okay. Does that make the difference? Calendar days. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to leave those Not here. Not working days, calendar days. Okay. Yeah. Right, so uh, basically a week. <laughs> we got a week to get you an application. Yeah. That's yeah. what so I kind of thought. We yeah. could do that. Super. Thank you very much, everyone. Okay. Appreciate your time. Yeah. Okay. Now in Rolders, we have Tara Banford from the North Country Council. Uh, and she has um, suggested uh, zoning ordinance changes that we had to come up with after a review of the uh,